Okay, in this video we're going to go over how to create an accommodation record. So this is for creating hotel and motel records, cottages and yurts, and uh, the other three categories that we'll see in a second. So from our navigation menu we're going to say add content accommodation. And I'm just going to say my test accommodation. We'll skip the address, you know how to fill out an address. Come on down. So we have our accommodation type. So if your facility offers both, you know, camping as well as chalets and condos or cottages, for example, then you'll need to create a record for each so that they show up in the appropriate section on the website. And this is this might seem like a little extra work, but um, we can actually clone an existing record of the same type. So for example, if you create an accommodation record, you can actually clone it and then just tweak some of the content. Uh, and what that allows you to do it, have, by having separate records is you can actually put a little bit of a different description in and also uh, tweak your amenities to match that specific um, accommodation. So we're going to create a hotel and motel record as an example. And we're going to say it has air conditioning, a barbecue, a beach, complimentary breakfast, and an indoor pool maybe some Wi-Fi too. Additional amenities, we'll just, you know, these are my additional, if I can spell, additional amenities. And we'll come on down and we'll say we're open spring, summer, and fall, but not winter. So we'll fill out our body. This is my test accommodation description. My test accommodation description summary so we can see the difference in those. And we're going to choose an image. This isn't any particular image for an accommodation. We just want to kind of try to keep it generic. So we're just going to select this nice paddling image. So we'll select an image, we'll upload. And you can see, you'll see this message once in a while if you have very large images. We don't need images to be that large for the listings, so we kind of bring it down to a maximum resolution. Uh, it's still bigger than we need it, but it just helps us keep uh, keep some of your resolution so that you can crop of areas of your photographs. So we're going to do our little crop and pick. You can see the little preview up here. We can see how that looks. So we'll go right like that. Come on down here, choose pictures. Let's upload a couple of pictures for the gallery. kayaking. Choose one more. Kayaking two. We'll come on down. The activity map is where it's going to show up on the map on the home page. So we're going to pick our axis here and uh, you should be able to get a grid from uh, the administrators of the website. So we'll just pick a random location here. And location, again, you use this information for Google to help find your location on the map. However, uh, the region, Google seems to have trouble matching addresses in the region. So it's really best if you can either, if you already know your specific latitude and longitude, you can just type them in here. Or you can squeeze on down and just pick your location somewhere. So we'll say we're along here. And we'll click Save. And there's our test accommodation. So you can see it shows the three seasons in the bolder colors for uh, when, we're, when we're available. We have the ability to add to Planner. We have our picture gallery and our amenities. So the ones that we picked plus the extra text that we typed in gets put over to the side here. Our map and directions. We didn't actually fill in any uh, address information or any extra directions, but if you did, those would show up here. And you can see our map marker and our comments and testimonials page. Now, if you also have, and I'm going to show you where that shows up here. We're going to go to hotels and motels. And there it is right there. And you can see we've resized this image for you automatically, so you don't have to worry about image sizes and, and you know, is making sure that there is specific uh, width and height when you upload them. We have that cropping tool that helps you with that. So I'm going to go back into my test accommodation. And let's say we also have cottages and yurts. So we're going to do clone content. And sometimes you just got to be a little careful clicking on that so you don't click on the uh, share icons. 
So you can see it says clone of my test accommodation. So I'm going to change that and just say my test accommodation cottages. I'm going to put some some um, a phone number in here. I'm going to change this to cottages and yurts. And we don't have air conditioning in the cottages and yurts, but of course we still allow the people to access our indoor pool and our Wi-Fi. So we'll put that down. And maybe we'll say that they have a kitchen end in them as well. And the cottages and yurts, we have those available year-round. So come on down. I'm going to leave the listing image the same. You can, you can click remove if you want and then upload a different picture for your cottages and yurts. Um, and that may not be a bad idea to just have a little little different photo for a little visual interest. Uh, the photo gallery, this is kind of a nice feature with the clone is that you can kind of upload all of your pictures for your property if you want and if you do have multiple accommodation records you can keep the same photo gallery between them but you do have the ability to upload different pictures uh, which can be a bonus as well. It just depends on how you'd like to uh, market your property. So locations, it has the same Google Map location as before, so we'll just go ahead and click Save. And now we have the Cottages link under Cottages and Yurts. So we'll just go over here. And there's the Cottages listing. And if we go to the Main Accommodations listing, this is where we list all accommodations on the site. And so we can kind of go through and say just show me cottages and yurts and we're using something called Ajax so as soon as a, a visitor clicks on these filters the list of what they see is filtered here we can come down and we can see that my test accommodation cottages is there and if we turn off cottages and just show chalets and condos then we no longer see our, our accommodation so that is how to create and clone accommodation records